Brian, hydrogen just doesn't seem like the answer here. It seems like total fool's gold. It seems like it's just distracting us from pushing towards the electrical revolution when we can just do that and avoid all of these old fuels and all these old ideas. Tell me what, like, how am I wrong here? Well, Michael, I think you have to think about how everything evolves, right? You know, there were a lot of good horse and buggy and whip manufacturers before the, inv the invention of oil, right? But all of a sudden, oil became the fuel of the future. And just like oil became the fuel of the future 100 plus years ago, hydrogen is going to be part of the fuel of the future tomorrow, right? So each thing needs its day and it needs its time. And what makes hydrogen so important is the fact that it's storable, it's transportable, and it's an energy intense molecule, right? You need molecules that carry energy and can be made cleaner. We have to transition. We can bury our heads and we can think about energy as, you know, we have amazing oil and gas systems infrastructures and they are awesome and they are super efficient but when we're looking you know 3,000 miles under the earth 3,000 miles out to sea for tomorrow's oil yeah. that tells you how far and how deep we have to go now to find new energy sources so let's start the transition today when we still have this amazing oil and gas asset that is ours. Let's start today so that when we're ready, we have the ability to transition. And hydrogen, the same things that make people scared of it, the same explosive potential are what make it such a great energy source, right? Yeah, I mean, point. at the end of the day, things don't blow up if they don't have energy. True. Yeah, yeah, you, you make a really good point. A lot of people, when they think of hydrogen, they think of it as being, oh, this is, this is a volatile compound. But obviously, in that volatility is a massive amount of energy. So I guess you make a good point there. But, but what middle ground does it play versus just going full battery everything? Yeah, so I think it, it takes time, right? Nothing, tra there's no transition. You don't go from A to Z. You, know, you got to go all the way through the process. And so, you know, there will be gray hydrogen, there will be blue hydrogen, there will be turquoise hydrogen, and then eventually there will be green hydrogen. But it isn't a one-stop shop, right? At the end of the process, what you're going to have is a mixed bag. And hydrogen doesn't solve all the problems, right? It's just one of the tools. It's just one of the energy sources of the future. You're gonna see the electrification of the world really take hold. Right? You're going to see renewables developed in a more efficient and continue build-out process. But hydrogen, just like natural gas, is unique in the sense that it is transportable. It is storable. Sure. And it yeah. offers you high energy content. So to build an energy future, an energy transition or transformation without it, would be crazy to leave it behind.